comes the sun. It's gonna be another beautiful day. I slept so well last night. <laughs> Thank goodness. And no headache this morning. Yay! I still managed to do 23.7 miles yesterday, not feeling very hot, so that made me feel good. <laughs> but watched the most hilarious thing this morning. So there was this group of four that I rubber band with all day yesterday. And it was two girls and two guys, and I assumed they were just kind of, you know, either coupled up or grouped up. Well, this morning the girls peeled out real early, real fast. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, I was giggling to myself as I was eating my breakfast. Well, I'm at the top of this climb here. That's a view of, I think it's McKinney Bay or something like that. McKinney Bay. I'll have to look again. Very beautiful. <clears throat> See what's on the other side of this bump. It's like the perfect spot to have second breakfast. Look at this. A waterfall down there coming out of the snow. Gorgeous day. So I am now at the Granite Chief Wilderness border. Just passed through it. I'm about 8,300 feet. Pretty nice up here. It has been so fun to have all these blooming flowers. I'm sure I'm only gonna see more and more of them. Oh, there's the sign. Oop, there it is. <laughs> I'm getting 
hungry again. Not a big surprise. So I think this next water crossing I find, I'm going to have some lunch. Even though it's only 10 o'clock. <laughs> I did a healthy 10 before 10. It was even 12 before 10. I don't know. But 12 miles will make you hungry. So, start to go down this guy and figure out where the water is. And have some lunch. See what's on this side. these beautiful flowers and then to either side you just get epic views and it's so peaceful up here just some birds me and the birds popped out of that little area there. Ah, butterfly! <laughs> Good morning, butterfly! Is it lunch time for you too? I can't bring myself to stop. Of course, I haven't found water yet, so that is another thing. <laughs> I can't eat without something to drink. I'm one of those people. I have to have something to wash my bites down with. Always. Otherwise I feel like I'm choking. Not cool. Oh, there's so many cool bugs. Except for the ones that bite me. I don't like those. I slept with a oh, big old spider last night. That was exciting. <laughs> Crawled out of my sleeping bag when I went to roll it up. <laughs> was like, all right. So I used to have a huge phobia of spiders. And I think between the AT and the PCT, I've been broken of that phobia. And the flowers. It's <laughs> a pretty cool little ridge up here. I'm on top of the world! Now if only I had a 60 carat blue diamond. <laughs> Or whatever she had. <laughs> nah, I don't need all that. Those type of things.
Things are for gold diggers. I just want a place to grow a garden. <laughs> Is that so much to ask? those are. Those got to have a name. Those little twin mountains up there. Oh. Trying to get better at my slow panning. How was that? Better? saddleback. I'm going to pop back on this side. Just chilling with butterflies and flowers. You know, I'm really digging these uh, rock formations. Oh, let me zoom in. Oh, you see that guy there? There we are. All zoomed in. Look at that guy. Aren't those cool? Look at this rock right here. <laughs> How has that not fallen yet? Especially with all the earthquakes we've been having. Yikes, speaking of which. <laughs> this is a great place to walk when I've been talking about earthquakes. No earthquakes right now. No earthquakes. No earthquakes. Yeah, it looks cool though. All above my head. A little space station over there or something. Space station. <laughs> Weather, radio, I don't know. I like Space Station. <laughs> Sounds way cooler. some more view of the beautiful Lake Tahoe. Lifestyles of the rich and famous. Tourists at least. And up on the hill here we got that radio tower. Or maybe that's the true up house and that's just what dude has to do to get Wi-Fi. Something these moments with these flowers and the sunshine 
on top of a mountain, feeling healthier than I've ever been. These are the moments I'm gonna close my eyes and reminisce when I'm 92 years old, sitting on my front porch, sipping lemonade. <laughs> like, I remember that day when I was on that mountaintop and there were all those beautiful wildflowers and the sun was shining. I felt amazing, my legs were strong. I didn't have a million wrinkles <laughs> or gray hair. And I could look out across the valley and see mountains upon mountains covered in snow. With everything I needed to survive on my back. Yeah, I'll have some good stories to tell my grandkids. also going to have some amazing things to paint. I've taken so many pictures and I can't wait to just lose myself in my art studio when I have one again <laughs> for hours, days on end, weeks, maybe months and years just reliving and painting and creating all the things I've seen. It's going to be epic. Can't wait. That's like a chairlift or something up there. Because this says ski area boundary. It's making more sense now. Look at these little guys. Wolverine Bowl. That sounds hardcore. Rah. Yeah, man. Let's go to Wolverine Bowl. <laughs> a true field of wildflowers. <laughs> Not all blooming at the moment, but can you imagine this all yellow and purple? Cool. <laughs> so I'm up on another mountain by some other ski lift now. Oh look. That looks like all kinds of things. That looks like a concert thing, doesn't it? figure out where the trail is. This might be it. But I'm kind of guessing. <laughs> yeah, that looks like a lot of fun over there, whatever that is. There's some ski lifts. Don't slide off of this. My truck pulls, <laughs> my AKA face savers as I like to call them, just saved me from wrecking myself on this, these uh, rocks down here below. I totally hit my butt right there and almost went down that. And I don't know if you can tell how steep that is, but it's really, really steep. And there's no way I would have been able to stop <laughs> before hitting those. So that was really scary. <laughs> And another testament to why I love truck poles. Holy crap, I'm shaking a little bit right now. <laughs> and there's that. Whew, still trying to get down from here. <laughs> and there's still more snow. And we do things like this a lot. The one shoe slide. Oh, man. That was a close one. <laughs> anyway. Live to see another day. It's 
still walking. I just need to take one of these chair lifts down. Jiminy Cricket. Pretty cool. I guess I just zigzag under these guys now. These switchbacks. In a mix of more snow. I'm going to stay on the dry stuff. Alright, put my phone away so I don't possibly die again. Well, now I have a choice of this really steep glissade, which I think is a bad idea because there's rocks sticking out everywhere, so there could very well be rocks in there. Or shimming down this side, which I think I'm going to do. I am just posted on this rock here, pretty much vertical, <laughs> looking down. I don't think these videos really do justice to the slopes of what I'm filming. This slope is probably like this. <laughs> Not like this, which it probably looks like. So, yeah, I'm like leaning against another rock here. Contemplating my next move that's hopefully not death <laughs> all right here goes water looks so odd with the little river within the river there <laughs> kind of cool though just the texture alone of it Well, I'm making my way off this mountain, kind of. Zigzagging around. Sounds like a waterfall up here. Ooh, those smell good too. Mmm. You know, I did see another helicopter pull someone off the mountain today. At first I thought it was just a tour guide thing. Until I saw the little dangling basket. I wonder if it was from this mountain. Because <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm not having an easy time getting down. And I had one close call already. I'm trying to find the trail. It's not easy. Oh look, people slid down over there. So finally made it out of all the snow up there. Oh, that was exhausting. And I think that's where I'm headed and that looks fantastic because I don't see hardly any snow. That last hill just whooped me. Oh, I just saw, because I got service for a second up there, that Eddie Murphy subscribed to me. <laughs> but, uh... Probably not the real Eddie Murphy. But how cool would that be if it was? Lie to me, people. Lie to me. <laughs> Ooh, ah. What's good about taking videos is I see so many amazing things every day that they probably all just mush together and I couldn't ever remember you know as many unique views as I can with these videos to be able to look back on oh no oh no it's coming I don't want to no more snow uh, I hear people. Some tracks go that way. Some go that way. Oh look, some go that way. Oh, I see the trail right there. But I wonder if it switched backs. Because that looks a bit steep. 
I'll go down this way and around. I've already played with my life a couple times today. <laughs> to camp. I'm all set up <clears throat> down by the river. Um, I did 24.7 miles today so interesting. Just one mile more than yesterday but there's another pass right in front of me and I felt like three mountains was enough for one day so <laughs> and it's like 5:30, and I'm beat so anyway calling it a night. Let's tell you yesterday at some point uh, probably while I was traversing all that gnarly snow, I passed 1,100 miles. But now I'm almost to 1,200 miles, so whatever. I'm at 11.40 mile marker, 11.43 or something. So I'm already halfway to 1,200 miles almost. By tomorrow I'll be definitely over halfway to 1,200 miles. Anyway. So there's not a whole lot going on here. I'm soaking some food, some rice, fancy rice, student of champions, and eating peanut butter and sticking M&Ms in it, because <laughs> why not? <laughs> 